Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's Charity Shops Pickups video. If you are new here, I am an eBay reseller based in the UK and I buy things from charity shops and car boot sales and thrift fairs and places like that to sell on eBay for profit. And at the moment I'm doing one of these videos almost weekly. Some weeks I don't buy so much, but here's this week's. It's been another restrained week if you watched last week you'll have heard me say that i'm on a little bit of a intervention a little bit of an intervention i set my i intervened on myself because i have an awful lot of stock building up and i'd been on a bit of a buying spree for a few weeks i wouldn't say i've stopped but i have cut down quite a lot here's what i picked up this week in the charity shops this is the car boot sale haul has already been done you've probably seen that already on the live stream this is just this week's charity shop pickups from one of the st peter's hospices i picked up another one of the british library crime classics books this one is the hog's back mystery by freeman wills crofts i have also read this one in the past but they do have decent resale annoyingly i forgot i'd picked it up and yesterday i listed a block of six but it's fine i'll go for the next bundle but yeah Civ head 99p for that one also in that charity shop i picked up this this is a boxed 1990 walt disney fantasia mug it hasn't been used it's obviously been on display only and it's in really really nice condition bearing in mind like i said that it's 1996 so complete with box that was two pounds 49 can you can you guys see the price it's probably upside down anyway it was two pounds 49 for that one not sure on prices but more than two pound 49 back possibly 15 maybe a bit more who knows maybe one of you knows anyway i'll know by the time you know because by the time you see this i'll have researched it might be an idea if i did my research before doing the video but psh, live dangerously um, also from that charity shop these were on monday i popped in monday while i was on the other side of town i popped into a shop i rarely go to and this was the absolute pickup of the day from that shop this was 3.99 and it is a set of four of these some of you will immediately recognize some of you will immediately recognize them they are villaway and bosch new wave i have a set of four of the cups well i did nearly just break one of them and the saucers which kind of are a saucer and side plate all in one so they're really really nice they are extremely expensive to buy new and resale wise one of these would normally bring in maybe 20 pounds a set of four i can probably maybe go 50 60 which sounds weird doesn't it you think why wouldn't you split them but to be honest i'd probably rather sell them as a set and make a little bit less and i realized that that sounds absolutely insane i can hear myself sounding like a wally but i think i have a little bit of a thing where sets should stay together they're a family <laughs> so i went to burnham on sea with mum and natalie on thursday and while i was there i popped in the what's this what shop is it it's the sue rider where i got this comforter i don't recognize the brand on this one it's got a tiny little thing that says um b toys i think it says on movie it says bj toys bj toys but again it's not a brand i recognize but that was uh one pound so always worth a punt for a pound also in there this is definite winner this is a jamie oliver i'm dropping things today it's because i'm trying to do this in a hurry because it is now 6 30 p.m on sunday night it needs editing ready to go out first thing monday morning so i'm in a rush this is jamie oliver super mum mug these are made by royal worcester i have done very very well on the jamie oliver mugs this is the first one i've ever found in its tin obviously having the original tin adds to the value so i paid three pounds for that which is more than i normally pay for a mug but i know absolutely without question that it will return 20 maybe 25 but definitely 20. also in burnham on sea in the same shop these are beverly feldman for russell and bromley and they are slingback shoes in a kind of a faux denim with the red rose print on the front oh that's embroidered not printed i beg your pardon with the red rose embroidered on the front they're quite a nice shoe i wouldn't be able to wear them not these days that is the kind of shoe that i loved wearing in the past in, in, in the late 80s early 90s a kitten heel although that's slightly more than a kitten heel but a kitten heel slingback was my dream shoe back then back in the days when i weighed a lot less and balanced a lot better i suppose <laughs> those were originally five pounds and they had reduced them to three i was very pleased to get them for three i expect to be able to get 25 for them maybe more i think this was in a bernardo somewhere it is a craft collection cross stitch kit 
and I don't think it's been started. It is open at the top, but I don't think it's been begun. Having said that, <laughs> I don't think the counted cross stitch fabric is in there. I think it's just the wool. Luckily, the other day I picked up some cross stitch fabric. Yeah, everything's there except the fabric. Luckily, the other day I picked up some counted Aida fabric, so I will just cut a piece of the right size and pop that in but that goes to show that you should pay more attention when you're picking things up can't get it back in the packet now either cross stitch kits are varyingly good some are brilliant some not so good i know where that was that was in the same place as this which was the children's hospice southwest and it was in bradley stoke yesterday and also in that shop i got these two so this is a scorpio mug this was 50p i do quite well with zodiac mugs even though it's not a particularly exciting brand i think i don't think it even has a brand name on the bottom Zodiac mugs do reasonably well. And then this one is just a very, very 80s in style, Hornsey oven to table wear jug. For which I paid the princely sum of one pound. And I just thought it was really, really sweet. Like I said, very, very 80s. And um, yeah, who knows? Who knows what that might bring back? If you're watching this channel for knowledge, you might be in the wrong place because all I've said so far throughout this entire video is, who knows? I don't know anything. These, not so good as I thought they were when I first picked them up. I saw them on the rack and there were a whole row of them and I thought, well, I'll take the lot. They are all men's shirts. This one is a jackety shirt. They are by Spiral Direct and they're all the kind of heavy metal skulls and so on and so forth. That's a sleeveless denim shirt, that one. That was four pounds. And then I have four ordinary t-shirts with varying, varying gruesomeness on them. So I was pleased when I saw them. I thought they would be a good buy, but I think I might get, be lucky if I get £10 each on them. So they're not quite as wonderful as I thought they were, but still I paid £3 each. So there is profit in them, I'm sure. Uh, last one coming up and the guy in the shop who actually does watch my channel so um hi david um he said they were his dad's his dad had donated them that day so um so yeah and david had put them out for sale so hi david if you're watching hopefully they'll um hopefully they'll go on to another happy home oh god it's the last thing this is not going to be very long today is it the last thing for this week's charity shop pickups is this really big bag of sylvanian accessories Sylvanian furniture and bits of ladder and probably some clothing in there and um, it may not when I open it it may not all be Sylvanian I haven't actually opened it and gone through it yet so I open it now two bags taped together and it was six pounds for the lot and it's a pretty good challenge to get in and that for example first thing out the bag I don't think that's Sylvanians because I don't remember the Sylvanians having a prison cell Sylvanian Alcatraz <laughs> but most of this is definitely Sylvanian families you can tell because it says on the bottom epoch co epoch company limited they are the makers of the sylvanian accoutrements and most items will be stamped somewhere apart from the really teeny tiny stuff i've got a bag of sylvanian people in the cupboard that i came across the other day and i think in the loft there might be a sylvanian house so it might be time to get up in the loft find the sylvanian house and do a bundle it might be that's it it's only a short video this week i did say it wouldn't be very long i am still on that buying ban from charity shops at least i can't not go to the car boot sell it's in my blood thank you for watching remember if you see anything in one of my videos that you are interested in please don't wait for it to hit ebay it might not hit ebay for weeks maybe even months if you're interested in anything you've seen you could drop me a line on the email address that is below these videos or you can find me on facebook or instagram and message me through there and we can sort something out please don't wait for it to go on ebay it might be might take forever but however please do not message me on ebay about an item that is not listed on ebay they don't like it they get cross thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll be back soon with more of whatever it is i do here take care bye for now